Hey, welcome back, guys. A hike in a national park trail again. This is actually a trail that connects up with the fire roads. It's actually pretty chilly today. About 40, 40 degrees, maybe. Nice and cloudy and overcast. We're actually walking parallel to one of the old uh, colonial era trails right now. Show it to you here in a second. I think it's going to cross that little front. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, it's just going to run alongside us. But there you go. If you look right here, Let's see if we can get through here. Punching an eyeball on a stick. Yeah, this is. It's basically right here. And there's actually two wagon track type paths running through here. You can see it a little bit better when it's not covered in leaves, but that's what this is. And of course, uh, this way it's all. Covered in fallen logs. Oh. But anyway, that's what that is. So that's pretty cool. Well, piece of history right next to us. I'm using a uh, a new stabilizer on my phone. It's one of those. Um, Osmo Mobile 3, I think it's called, DJI Osmo Mobile 3. So far I like it, it's a little, it's a little ornery, but I'm not super technologically savvy, so it could be me. But I'm actually not using it with the app, I'm just uh, using it as a as a platform basically just a stabilizer I find it does tend to wander a little bit though not sure why that is but so far it seems to be doing all right but anyway we'll See how the weather holds out. Shouldn't be too bad today. There's rain and possibly snow and sleet coming this evening. But for the next four hours or so, it's not supposed to really do anything. So, But anyway, if you see me kind of jerk the camera the wrong direction or something, that's probably because I'm still trying to learn the controls on this thing. Mud. I don't know, I mean, I like it. It's definitely going to be a smoother image for you guys when you're doing videos like this walking around. Maybe I won't get sick to your stomach. Just get sick to your ears and listen to me ramble. Alright, I'll cut this back on if I come across anything cool. on this trail now this is actually what we're in right now is 
is the old the old road bed the fire road just hooked up to it and it'll follow it for a little bit and then it'll break off again left my sunglasses in the truck and as soon as I started hiking the sun came out it's been cloudy and overcast all day now, of course, I'm hiking into the sun. Good times. Past weekend, my dad and I went hiking at the Piedmont Natural Science Center trails in High Point, North Carolina. And I did not make a film because honestly, I hadn't been there in almost 20 some years and I couldn't remember what the trails were like. But it would have been worth it because we got within about 20 yards of a pretty sizable doe and uh, yeah she couldn't have cared less that we were there but there's actually some nice trails so a lot of beaver sign deer sign a um, couple of uh, blue herons out at the lake it all goes around the uh, High Point City Lake. It was really nice. But <clears throat> it was also wet and cold and didn't really want to put my dad on the spot by filming a lot because, you know, I don't want to force my family to be in videos if they don't want to be in it. You know, my daughter doesn't really care, but I don't want to whip out the camera every time I'm doing something just to just to have some content to put on here. I'm not going to force anybody to be in my videos if they don't want to be, so we just enjoyed a father-son hike. <laughs> see what these here signs say usual things you are here I don't know how I get up there I can't climb up on that sign yeah most uh most everybody else, I think, is up here on the battlefield trail, which we'll do that one one of these days. No bikes, no trail bikes, no camping, no off-roaders. Gotcha. And there's another... Uh, it. There's another trail right there. So we're right here. So that trail's going that way. Hmm. I would go down there, but I don't really want to get something to happen to me. I'd rather do that when somebody's with me. Because uh, I don't generally mind going off the trails, but and really it says it says no horses. That's actually what that says. It's stated. So I guess that means you can hike down there. But I don't really have yeah, nobody really knows where I'm at. Same that way. That's 
the other side of that trail going that way. But let's see what this says. National Park Boundary. So, hang on. Sorry, I'm dragging this out. Y'all were probably thinking, dude, just go hike. Don't you know where we are? Oh, I get it. Okay, we're crossing into the state park from the federal park. I get it. Okay. Cool. Hey, you know what? We'll hike down this a little bit. There does seem to be a lot of thorns and stuff, so... I don't know. Eh, not today. We'll do it. We'll do it another day. It's going down this way. I just ripped a hole in my other pair of jeans, and so that leaves me with three decent pairs to wear to work. I don't have a large closet full of clothing, and, uh, I don't need to rip any up on briars and thorns. Because heaven forbid if you go to the store, try on something, they don't let you try on anything anymore because of COVID. So I'm going to try and keep my pants in one piece at least today. So now we're on the rugged trail. Bet this gets nice and sloppy when it rains. A lot of nice size deer tracks in there. Ooh. Like I was saying. Let's see. Everything is thorns. Holy cow. Let's see if we can get up here on the side. Did you hear my, my boot suction into that mud? So goopy. It's interesting how different it's so open right there and then you come on this side of the trail and it's just little saplings as far as you can see kind of interesting Other than that far off airplane, it is deathly quiet out here. I mean, I haven't even seen a squirrel running around. It's 
It's kind of eerie to be honest with you. There's not one bird chirping or anything. That's creepy. I don't hear any woodpeckers or there's usually little birds scurrying around in the brush and stuff. peaceful but it's kind of creepy <laughs> as long as I don't get that feeling that something's watching me then I'll then I'll be all right I mean I'm like literally the only thing moving around out here figured the birds would be out collecting stuff and <clears throat> getting some extra food before the snow hits. Hmm. Yeah, other than the airplanes, I don't hear anything. I didn't really notice how quiet it was until I actually stopped to take a leak. And as I was standing there, I realized that there wasn't a single sound anywhere in the woods. Just the airplane, that's it. I did see a buzzard fly over a while ago, but that's about the only living thing I've seen, come to think of it, since I've been out here. Oh well. Like I say, as long as I don't start feeling like something's watching me. Start getting the heebie-jeebies. Start thinking about the uh, book I used to read when I was younger by Dean Koontz called Watchers. Man, this creature called the Outsider first chapter of the book is kind of similar to this where the guy's out in the woods and comes in contact with it it is creepy and eerie my mind tends to wander to that when I'm out in the woods even though it was just a story it used to scare the bejesus out of me when I was a kid And the same thing happened in the story. Everything went silent. No cicadas, no bugs, no birds, nothing. And that's because the 
creatures in the woods did not approve of the outsider it's a good book you ought to look into it if you like you know horror kind of stuff oh well there's a bird way over there so i'm not the only living thing and now i hear another bird so and i hear a woodpecker Oh, that's that bird over there. Go figure. Either that or a Sasquatch knocking on a tree. Maybe that's why everything was quiet. If you believe in that kind of stuff. Which I don't think if Sasquatch is real, he's got time to be knocking on trees, scaring rednecks. But that's just me. Yeah, it's a woodpecker. All right, well, against my better judgment, because, you know, where's the fun in life? I decided I'd come down this non-beaten trail. Just keep my eyes out for snakes just because it has been warm the last couple days so I'm basically right on the line of the National Park and the State Park is where I'm walking right now and there's obviously been either other people or just deer walking through here because I'm actually walking along the trail it's pretty well padded down looks like the deer see the orange paint on the trees that's the national park side There's two ruts in the road too so this is one of the old colonial roads old wagon roads through here i say colonial but they're not I guess I don't really know if they're all colonial. The one main road through the park is Colonial Road. It's actually called the Colonial Road. The rest of these could have been, you know, put through in the 19th, 20th century. Who knows? Well, Let's say we work our way. I'm gonna follow the visible deer trail right here, which actually leads up to a buck rub right there. See, this is the fun part. This is where you get lost off the trail. Yeah, it's a nice buck rub. You can actually hear the road. So I'm not really in any danger of being lost and, you know, die out here or anything. It's most likely the main park road. I definitely wouldn't come out here when the weather's warmer. Step on a daggone copperhead or rattlesnake out here. That would not be good. Yeah, this is a pretty rugged trail now, but you still see the, uh, still see the ruts it's just very rugged
I believe this eventually leads down to a creek. I definitely don't want to fall and twist an ankle or something. My fat ass just realized I gotta walk back up this hill. That may not be fine at all. I may not go much further than down here. I really don't know where I'm going. I do, but I don't. You know what I'm saying? No, Matt, we don't know what you're saying. Because we're not you. What I mean is, I know where the trail goes. Because I just looked at the map. I've seen a lot of buck rubs down here, though. Yeah, it pretty much <laughs> looks like I'm just going into a pine forest up there. Go a little bit further. Here's another buck rub. That one's fairly fresh. If you, if you look right there, that's a deer trail running right through there. A lot of these briars are cut down pretty short. Which means they've been eating on them. Oh, my knee. Oh. park boundary that was on this tree right here on the other side Ooh. don't fall don't fall okay again that that deer trail comes right around jumps over this log let's see where it goes Cuts back through there and up through that way. There's actually several through here. And that was a whole bunch of thorns right across my knee. Wow, that did not feel good. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm about to the end of my trail here. Well, maybe not. There's another buck rub right there. Okay, I don't know how well this is coming out in the camera, but here's a very clear game trail right here. So hopefully it's deer and not, you know, bobcats or something. If it was a black bear, it'd be a much bigger trail. I'm going to get to the top of this ridge and then I'm going to stop because because that is I don't know if y'all can see that that is straight down I'm just walking through thorns Country. Yeah, that is straight down to the creek. 
and then across the creek. So, whew, excuse me. Pretty sure we've hit our hit our limit. I'm gonna put this boundary sign back where it can be seen. Sorry for breathing all up on the camera there. Dad gum it. Freaking thorns are killing me. Alright, close enough for horses to hang with. Alright. Let's uh head on out of here. Kinda was hoping we'd spook a deer out from its bed, but much noise is walking on all these thorns I was making. They've probably been gone. That's an old rub. Probably from last year or even the year before. There's another game trail through there. I say game trail, but around here it's mostly white-tailed deer, so I guess I could just call it a deer trail, but y'all know what I mean, hopefully, sometimes. Y'all can't really see it, but see right now I'm just walking through like soft grasses, but these daggone thorns, I mean they're like that, they're just thick. Yeah, I gotta be careful too because I got kind of a jacked up knee right now. In fact, I'm wearing a big brace on it. Which if I wasn't, it would be hurting like crazy right now. Uphill. Both ways. Mm. All right, we'll cut this off. All right, well, back on the trail. Figured y'all didn't want to watch me struggling up that hill and wheezing and coughing and carrying on. I tell you, the air is just getting a little warmer, but the air is still cold out here. So my lungs are burning pretty good. And I got asthma, so that doesn't help. But anyway, back on the trail now. Uh, it's funny, since I mentioned it being so quiet out here, you now I've seen like three squirrels and... I hear crows and birds chirping and I don't know what the deal was, but I figured a while ago. It's still kind of creepy, but anyway. Appreciate y'all watching my videos. I know they're not always the most exciting thing on YouTube, but they'll get better with time. Because I put more effort into them. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching, and I'm going to head out of here and give some of my buddies a call, see if they want to get together and drink a few cold ones, because tomorrow night i got to go back to work, and I haven't been, I've been off work for 14 days on vacation, 
the end of the year, so that's gonna suck <laughs> badly. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching my videos and uh, get out there and explore parks and stuff around where you live. Never know what you might find. And don't be afraid to go off the beaten path. Just let somebody know where you are. Don't be an idiot like me. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate it. All right. So I found something kind of cool. Y'all let me know what this is. I'm pretty sure that's some type of a egg sack. It's real lightweight. A couple holes in it. It's not one of those spores that you step on and it's you know shoots out all the dust this i think this is an egg sac of uh some kind of insect but yeah if you know what it is let me know in the comments um it's not a praying mantis because those are usually made onto tree branches and stuff and i think they've definitely got a different look more of a papery look but yeah, let me know what that is, if you know. It's pretty cool. Just happened to look down, see it before I almost stepped on it. All right, appreciate it.